Timmy's. We're taking the typical Canadian route going to Timmy's. Yeah. Just gotta get my ice cap because, you know, how uh, much I love ice caps. You're getting an ice cap this Ice cap <laughs> fucking late. What fucking time is it right now? I don't even know what time. Undoubtedly addicted to ice caps. Oh, I'm the worst. It's like four in the morning right now getting ice caps. So I think I, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I keep having these things where I'm. Uh, I think I'm probably going to cut down on coffee and I never fucking do. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> when I want to cut down on coffee, I do, but the problem is I don't want to cut down on coffee. I drink okay. about. I, is really <laughs> I drink about two ice caps every day, so. So you guys, you guys didn't want McDonald's. Like, if you want some food, we can go to McDonald's. We don't have to go to. Town. Yeah. I'm okay with food. I'll just get an ice food? cap. Bro. Okay, yeah, let's go to. <clears throat> um. Yeah. So, dude, what the fuck was up with you at my place the other night, man? We were watching videos, and you just like passed the fuck out on my bed and started groaning, man. That shit was weird. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, I was like, I don't know, man. I was, I was like, fucking, pl I, was, I was practicing a car move. It was like a, I forgot what that car move was. Like, it was a fucking, yeah, it was like a, pra it was like a magic trick that I was trying to practice. And so after, I'm, st I'm there, I'm standing there, and like you're trying to show me how to do the trick, and all of a sudden, I feel like I'm, my head just, my head just feels very light. I felt like super dizzy, and I'm like. Whoa, I think I gotta sit down. Whoa, whoa. All I hear is like white noise in the background, like, eee! like I don't know, some, some weird That's shit in my mind that like made all sound around me like a little bit quieter. Yeah, I thought you had too much to drink, but like, yeah, because I had a lot, I, I had about like eight beers. So what happened was, after I felt dizzy, <laughs> eight beers. yeah, it's like, it's like eight, only eight beers, but I mean, I guess. I drank them too fast, or like you know, I don't know what happened, but that's how I remember. So basically, after my head was dizzy, I felt like a I felt like a pain, like just like struck down my chest, like it, it's like it was collecting in the center of my chest. Then I'm like, oh, I got like heartburn. Oh shit, whoa, whoa. And then after that, the pain left my heart, like, and then it shot straight to my stomach, and all of a sudden, like, my stomach was like all fucking rumbly, like. I'm like, oh, oh, wait, oh shit! I think I got a fucking like a fart or some shit. I thought, I thought I had to take a serious shit, but it was just fucking was a bunch of gas. Yeah, it was like the demon fucking escaping out of out of my fucking what, fart or demon? some shit. <laughs> like fucking man, it, it was like a, it was like I got fucking hit in the head by a sword, and it fucking cut me through my head, and then like. Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck, man. It, like, took over my body, man. I was like, whoa. Yeah, man, like, I know you guys aren't going to believe me when I say this, but, you know, I, I kind of I had a contact with you the other day. Mm. The demon oh, just, shit. the demon wanted to fuck with my head, give me heartburn, and then, like, fucking, like, make my stomach all gassy or some shit. It was like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck, man. Like an it's a demon. He's trying to possess you. It's possessing me, man. It's happened. It's cause it, ha it happened more than once, though. When a demon hit, like yeah, the spirit yeah. fucking entered my body, and then all of a sudden it took over. It's because we're casting magic, but we won't. <laughs> we won't listen to the demons, man. You see, the demons—they want all the magic for themselves, mm -hmm. and we—we're not gonna make a deal with them. So that's why they're coming after us, because they have everybody fooled that magic comes <clears throat> from the demons, right? Yeah. Which some of it does. But they have enough people fooled thinking that all magic is dem demonic. So now that we come along and we're casting non-demonic magic, and they, we refuse to make deals with them, that's why they need to come after us. Only that's why they've been fucking contacting me. That's why they've been spying. <clears throat> I mean, that's probably why they tried to possess you. It just seems you're too strong for them or something, man. Only a small portion of magic is controlled by the demons. I still remember that one time... The rest is demonized. <clears throat> that one time I was in the garage or some shit, and I, I guess like we were like smoking, we were like smoking and drinking, <clears throat> and all of a sudden I'm like, I'm like, whoa, like, like I was having a conversation, I can't remember what about, but then I opened the garage door and all of a sudden like, like one, two, three, boom, I just fucking passed out, like, and basically, I remember like, 
I really, I think, I think, I think it was like you that actually like, like basically like brought me inside or some shit. Like you like threw, like you like picked me up over your shoulder or some shit. <laughs> and I had like this big huge cut mark on the side of my fucking eye. Like it was like it was it was deep too. Like I, the, yeah, I remember that man. That's when the demon fucking took you down. The demon fucking like took me down. Like what you the fuck? I don't remember that shit, but that demon. I don't remember exactly how it happened. All I remember was like you said that I smacked my face on the side of the curb. Or the something demon shit. came, fucking jumped up on your shoulder and slammed your face on the fucking cement, man. It was fucked up. Yeah, it was some crazy ass shit. Yeah, I, I came and stepped to the demon, but I was all fucked up. That was uh, you know, not too long before my spinal injury, yeah. so I couldn't walk very well. But um, you know, that was some scary adrenaline moment. And when I stepped up. See, demons are fucking cowards. That's why I had to come at you from behind. Mm. But uh, once it saw me see it, it fucking ran like hell, and that's when I carried you up. You had a fucking concussion, man. That guy slammed your head really hard. And this motherfucker wouldn't let me call an ambulance or nothing. He went to work the next day like nothing. I, I went to work the next day with a big-ass gash, and my boss was like, what the fuck is up with that? <clears throat> like, <laughs> my boss was like, what happened? I'm like, um... Yeah, about that. I think I might have just got. Hey, could I have a extra large coffee, three creams, please? Uh, do you guys oh. want anything? Yeah, I'm gonna give my card. So, uh, I want a medium ice cap, and what do you want, Austin? A medium ice cap. Um, Sorry, so extra large three Yes, please. Okay, and medium ice cap. Anything else? Just coffee. Uh, medium double double, please. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just give you the money for my coffee and I'll use your card. Okay, cool. Don't <clears throat> know. You got from my boss right tomorrow. Okay. Timmy's. Timmy's. Are oh, you not recording? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, so after we hear from this, I'll tell you guys about. Random beatbox session. <coughs> Slide by Google. Alright, this gets uh, played a lot of radio air. I turn it up to show you, but um, I don't want to get a copyright strike. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> dum, 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 <laughs> That's as much as we can show. <laughs> get another copyright strike. Only, I guess this would actually be legit this time, wouldn't it? Yeah. It was like two seconds. I don't think we're allowed to play somebody else's music in, in our content. I think it depends on how much you play. I have no idea. That was like I'm pretty sure they can, have be, they can be music in the background. It might be fair use since <clears throat> in our con I don't know. Who cares? Nobody's gonna strike us for two seconds except for bloody timmy edwards oh i know tim 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 oh motherfucker i can't believe you tried Timothy, to flag Timothy us edwards, fucking video fuck that guy the unfunny comedian <laughs> i don't know if you guys are fucking familiar. stealing Wilby's fucking beats yeah yeah he's claiming he's a, he owns Tim, timmy edwards is a fucking crook he's, a he's not even a good one too like, fuck. he's a stupid like like we didn't, we only had like nine views, and then he just fucking just dropped the claim on us. Like, yo, that's a nice video you got there, Nyuka. nice, nice I man. Video, I want that video, man. I'm the hustler. <laughs> I need to, I need to grab all these niggas' pockets, man. Yeah, really. Some unfunny black, like bootleg Dave Chappelle looking motherfucker. Not even, <laughs> Not yeah. even half his. Like, failed spoken word comedian. Oh, he's trying to take fuck, he's trying to, like, fucking make a profit off of fucking free beats. Like, non, yeah. like, non-profit, it's non-profit, and he, he wants fucking money, property. he wants a lie for it. Pretending he owns things that he doesn't. He's gonna take Will B's French dick up the ass. Debit? Uh, no thanks. Coffee. All right, cool. Oh, You're right. Thanks. Here. I don't know. 
was gonna put my fucking wallet in my pocket. All right, I'll take my god. It come with a, a straw. Yeah. No? Yeah. Oh, here. Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> Yo, ice caps are the crack, man. <laughs> I would not be drinking this. Not really, like... Kyla's white girl can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have to agree with that. Uh, so that, that. That's two against one, though. <laughs> <laughs> white girl can. The what? What is it? I, I think the white girls love fucking uh, ice, ice caps. Yeah. They also, Damn. They also I guess them white girls will love me then, man. Yeah, unless Kyle doesn't like, yeah. I, I hey, think, white bitches, do you like ice caps? Kyle would go next white girl level, Kim, once he starts drinking, like, like Starbucks coffee. <laughs> oh, God. That, that's that's the, when we stop hanging out. Yeah, that's when, like, <laughs> that's when Kyle loses all his friends, and he just becomes a hipster at Starbucks. <clears throat> then he'd probably get new hipster friends, and we'd have to kill each other. Oh, fuck, I hate, <laughs> st Starbucks coffee is too strong, man. Would whenever you, I go to, car, when I, whenever I go to Starbucks, the demon... Wants to like fucking knock me out because of the fucking smell of the coffee is just too overpowering for me, man. Would, would, <clears> if, if, <throat> if Kyle eventually becomes a Starbucks sister, would this be the start of the, the, the traitor arc with the series? Yeah. When Kyle joins, when Kyle like eventually betrays the pack and then goes to the hipsters. <laughs> hipsters. I, I don't think you'll ever see me be a hipster. No. No. <laughs> <clears throat> I think not. I'd have to get hit, like, in the head real hard to become a hipster. I mean, like, I like I, I know some of my, my parents want me to go out. Sometimes they want me to, like, dress, like, nice and, like, fancy, like, button-up shirt, you know, all that shit. I, I, I really don't really give a shit about, like, all, well, all for, like, like there's fashion like, and shit. There's, like, being, <clears throat> like, being, like, wearing, like, a suit doesn't make you a hipster. It's, like, if you wear, like, clothes to be trendy. Yeah, but I don't I don't know much about hipster culture to be honest. But isn't it all about like not conforming? It's rejecting. They all look the same. Being to be a hipster is to reject <laughs> things that are popular. But isn't but being, being a hipster popular? Yes. <clears throat> what? That's like kind of contradictory. It's, it's a what? being a hipster in itself is a paradox. It's like being an anarcho communist or something like that. Mm. So yeah, Damn. Man, you know, Kyle, we really we gotta do something about these demons trying to get in your soul. They're trying to they're trying to fucking possess you. Yeah. <clears throat> the fucking soul. I, I, I spoke I spoke with one of them. That, you know, he came to me in my sleep and he told me that uh you know one night when I got some of my buddies together, we should all go into the forest and uh he'll fix you. You know, he'll he'll <clears throat> Demons are full of shit. They're fucking liars. I know. I know he's lying to me. He's just trying to get me to go to the forest. But oh yeah, it's obviously a trick. So you know a doctor that can possibly release this demon that always keeps on entering? No, it's not a doctor, man. It's another demon. It's like a demon. Like it's a, another demon. Yeah, we we all know he's full of shit. It's not just trick. Yeah, but you know what? This might be our one chance to actually try and get these fuckers on the <clears throat> get. Because our last video, you know. We were fucking, we, we didn't see this shit coming, so, uh, we'll go back to my place, I'll just, like, pick up some shit, we can, like, I don't know, bring some weapons, bring some cameras, bring some flashlights, <clears throat> I'll bring a joint, nice, uh, we're probably gonna need one of those, yeah, <clears throat> and, um, I can, as we all know, demons hate weed smoke. I, I honestly don't know. Honestly, we don't know whether that's documented. We just really want to it. I think hallucinogens, you know, oh fuck, it's so complicated, man. Because you know, we we perceive things in a, in three dimensions, right? Right. But that doesn't necessarily mean that our universe is only three dimensions. So hmm. when you fuck up your mind, you might actually perceive things that are there. 
that normal people cannot perceive. That doesn't necessarily mean, you know, you're hallucinating. But that's the thing, too. Hallucinations are also real. And, you know, the demons and the spirits, they like to play tricks on you. You never know what's real and what's fake. It seems like a very well balanced way of explaining things. Well, I'm trying to, I'm trying demon to say, layer I'm trying to over here. Buy things as much as I can. This is the demon building. Put it in layman's terms. Well, I don't want to get into quantum <laughs> physics here, but wasn't it um, uh, Stephen uh, Hawking said that there's like eight dimensions that he could at least, you know, I wouldn't say detect, but theorize. Eight dimensions, and the so the fourth dimension is time, right? And I already explained how we perceive time as like a tiny sliver. Kind of the way how two-dimensional Super Mario would perceive a three-dimensional universe. Right. Yeah, yeah, you remember that lecture. It was good. It was good. That's the first step to becoming a wizard. Explaining dimensions in Mario Brothers. Well, what is magic, man? It's just understanding the way the world works <clears throat> and then, you know, bending it to make it work to the way you want it to. It, science and magic are actually the same fucking thing. <laughs> they really are. They're the exact same thing. It's why um, I always laugh at people who like fear science, think it's gonna like <laughs> destroy their religion. Dude, that's literally the whatever. plot to Castlevania Netflix. <laughs> Where like um, this this woman uh, visits Dracula, eventually becomes the bride of Dra of Dracula, and then like, these super religious types. <clears throat> Castlevania Netflix, Dracula is the super like technological. You come like, to drink like, your blood, guy. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. And eventually, like these super religious types, like the bishop, come like and, like all these other like, guys come to visit like, the house, and like they um, they accuse her of being a witch, and then they wreck the shit, and then they, they fucking, like, burn the wife at the stake. That's the. Well, yeah, see, there's some truth to that, because tech, there's bad technology. There's good technology. Right? There's yeah. bad magic, there's good magic. It, 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 it you know, they, yeah, they're trying like, to... This shit, like, the funny thing is they're trying to, like, draw similarities between technology and magic. Like, when the, the, the crooked religious people accuse the uh, technological lady of being a witch. Right. Well, the truth is she kind of is a fucking witch. Yeah, but the funny thing is, like, the, the, the stuff being used, you know. This is where the sighting <coughs> This is where the, this is where the demon sighting was. In the last video right here. It was crazy, man. Yeah, it's not too far off from this location that we need to go, actually. <laughs> lovely little neighborhood and these people already have their Christmas decorations of, of mid-November. Yeah, like these motherfuckers over here, yeah. Just like the Christmas music. Those must be like the one guys that actually appreciate the Christmas music in November. Mm. You gotta think, it's like, who enjoys that? Everybody complains about it, man. Everybody <clears throat> hates everybody, that shit. Everybody hates when people talk about, like... Honestly... I don't give a fuck about Christmas decorations, because then again, later on, because then again, after Christmas, you got to take them all down, so all that fucking hard work you did put, to put this shit up, yeah, the fucking take them all fucking them. down. My family used to just leave them, but then uh, keep them turned off when we were kids. Everybody it's like, hates that we talk about is. a holiday way too fucking early. Woodgrove Ravine Park, man. This is where the demon wanted us to meet. Last year, I had my Christmas tree up, and then it fucking... See the sign right there? Yeah. Would go ravine. Hope we're allowed to park here for a while, because <clears throat> that's I mean, how it's gonna be just for a little bit. We're not gonna be here for too long. So wait, so wait, keep it rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Actually, just cut it for now. Cut it for now. All right. So everybody, in order to get the demon out, everybody's gonna have to participate in this spell. Okay. Last time the demon appeared, just when we were practicing, we weren't even performing. So. And it said to meet us here, so let's try and get it out. So for this, I'm gonna take a, a piece of the deck and I'm just gonna cut it and make another pile. So now you take that pile and make a separate separate pile. Yeah. Kyle, now it's your turn. Okay, I'm gonna take 
Let's see, I'm gonna take a. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to put it like. Or, uh, yeah, I'll put it there. Alright, so now there's four piles. So, everyone got a turn to cut the deck. We could have cut the deck at any point in, in here. Right. You know, halfway through, but. I just ha so happened to cut here. You just happened to cut there. Right. Kyle just so happened to cut here. So I, I cut in the middle. So uh, I cut. I just happened to choose this card. Yeah. Kyle, you chose this card. Yeah. And Austin, you chose this card, right? Right. Well, it just so happens. Oh, it's nice. Oh shit. Oh shit. <clears throat> now let me show you. Something really fucked up. You see this crazy shit? Yeah. Yeah, man. Here. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, fucking bitch, man. God damn it. What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh, Dude, not that hurt? Yeah, damn. like a motherfucking bitch. Dude, I forgot the water bottle. Oh, you see that shit? Damn. You're getting that on camera, right? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. fuck. Fuck. Okay. Damn. Oh, I'll just rub. Use my magic spell. Oh, that's so freaky. Oh, damn. Not oh even shit, not even any blood or anything like that. No, no blood, no nothing. Not even a fucking <laughs> Shit. Alright, cut. Yeah.